Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Oleksandr Usyk. I am feel. I am very feel. Get this. <laughs> Oleksandr Usyk to be ringside for Tyson Fury on October 28th in Saudi Arabia. Oleksandr Usyk says he'll be ringside for Tyson Fury's crossover fight against the ex-UFC champion, Francisco Ngonu. Alexander Usyk is curious to see how Fury's fight with the powerful six foot four Ngonu will play out. While he's giving Ngonu a puncher's chance of winning, he doubts that he will be victorious. Usyk says he wants to see the fight, which he believes will 100% be won by Fury against Francis, who has never fought a professional boxing match. Okay. And he said, yes, I'm going there. I would like to see the bout, said Usyk. And he said, um, the promoter is impressive and it's understood because this is a show that people are waiting for, said Usyk. But for a professional boxer, it's completely different. No, why I have I why have I had to, said Usyk when asked if he's changed his mind about Fury versus Ngono fight now that the contract has been signed for this contest. He said, this bout is, is bread and butter for Tyson Fury. This is my attitude towards boxing. And when someone is saying that Ngano can drop him, I would probably agree, but I'm really not certain. Tell me how could a guy with no experience in boxing beat a two meter giant who's been boxing for 20 years? Ngano said about Fury facing the 37 year old novice. Well, that's what Usyk said about Ngono. He said, yes, Ngono is or was a UFC champion. I'm not disputing it, but UFC isn't boxing. I'm sure that 100% that Tyson Fury will be victorious. He will effortlessly win. <laughs> if Ngono relatively has a puncher's chance, and if he's hypothetically sends Fury tumbling to the canvas, I'll concede talking gibberish. It's better to wait. We'll see everything in a while, said Usyk. And let me counterpunch. That's just Usyk's way of staying on top of Fury, making sure, like, I'm here. You signed the contract. I'm still taking notes. I'm outside the gym. I'm outside that, that ring, ringside, taking notes, seeing your every move. And is this exciting to hear? Yeah, it's exciting to hear, but it's typical. Why is it typical? Because Usyk does that. This is pro. This is typical protocol by Alexander Usyk. It is. He's done the same shit with the same people. He did the same thing with Anthony Joshua. And now you've seen Usyk at fights like Ruiz. When Ruiz upset him, Usyk was there. Usyk was there for Pulev. Usyk was there for um, um, Povetkin. He was there for Povetkin when he knocked out Povetkin. Um, Alexander Usyk was taking notes. He was studying the opponent and he does that. He just sits ringside. A lot of people do it. Real champions do that type shit because they want to know that, you know, that's their homework, you know? So they cut their homework out for them. They look, they, they observe, they see everything that they need to see about that fighter. They see what this, this fighter does at this particular time. How does he act on the ropes? You know, where does he move? You know what I mean? How does he defend? You know, what is his habits? Those type of things are observed by true champions, true fighters like Usyk. Bernard Hopkins did it with Trinidad. So did Roy Jones Jr. You know what I'm So those guys, they know, like, look, let me see what this guy's about. And we've seen him also with Tyson Fury in the um, Derek Chisora fight. He was ringside. Now he's ringside again. Yeah, it's against a guy that he doubts that will win. But then Francis Ngono is there, and I think Usyk's there to be in his face. I think Usyk's there to show him that I'm here. You know, is it semi-trolling? No, it's a lot different than that. What this is all about is him really doing his homework on a fighter, on, a, on an assignment. Okay, he's doing it for an assignment. This is all a part of the mental uh, preparation for Alexander Usyk. This is all that is. That, and a lot of people think, oh man, he's, you know, Usyk's been, no, Usyk's showing up because Usyk wants to study. Anytime Usyk, I feel, has an opportunity to see Tyson Fury inside the ring, he's going to be there. 
And this is no exception. It don't matter if he's fighting a guy that's never been in the ring or not. Your habits are your habits. The things you do is what you do. You know what I mean? And Tyson Fury does certain things, you know, like he resets, he touches his head. You know, he touches his head when he's about to engage. Those type of things. Usyk is, he's writing that shit down. He's writing it down. Absolutely. Okay, so yeah, he's definitely taking notes. That's all Usyk's doing, you know? Now, again, on a lighter scale, yeah, he's probably going to be there to be in his face with those eyes looking at him all crazy. He's going to do that. But nonetheless, though, nonetheless, bro, he is there to do his homework for Tyson Fury and at the same damn time be in his face. But you guys tell me what you think of Alexander Usyk stating that he will be their ringside for Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngono. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.